Hello guys, Avonix here, and I'm here with Tony. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm here with Tony, or the Neon Ninja, as you will know him. Link to his channel will be in the description. And today we are today featured in this week's Redstone Contraption Spotlight. It's a lockable door, and it's quite simple to make. And I will now demonstrate it to you. Uh, well, me and Tony will. All right, so you're ready. I'll go ahead and do the correct combination. Right. Come by, hit this lever, and it locks. And now okay. what you If you re <clears throat> use the door again, is you put the B levers up, or the levers on the left side for me, and you do the levers on the right side, and you go ahead and lock it, and unlock this one, and you can just keep doing this. Now, you may wonder, why can't you just go back out? Well, this design was originally uh, made for a base. And in this base, you can only enter the in the entrance door and go out the exit door, which was on the other side. So, you know, um, that's, that's why you can't just go back out the uh, entrance door like regular people. But, anyway, we're going to show you how this works. Now, when the levers are up, let's just reset everything right quick. Unlock, unlock. Can you make it day right quick? Yeah. Alright. So, when the levers are up and everything is in a um, its original condition, you have a set of five levers. And if you put on the A side... A2 and A4, or rather, A3 and A1. If you want to make the combination longer, you can add as many levers as you want. To. Yep, you, yes, you can. So, what happens is, there's a set of five torches, each one for every lever that's on the wall here. But, the only ones that open the door are the only ones that are connected to this torch. And in my, this works off the principle that if a, two torches are placed next to each other, one of them will shut off. But however, that has changed since the newer updates. You have to have the torches on a level, string the redstone wire off the same level as the torch, and have it drop down one. And then lead it directly to the block uh, or the torch that you want to activate or deactivate. And then it will shut it on or off depending on if the current is open. Now, if just one lever is down, the circuit closes because one of these is activated, keeping that torch off. Now, that opens, of course, because both of these are off, allowing that torch to come on. The locking mechanism works by activating this torch, which forces that one off. And uh, that is the basic schematics of it. Not to yeah. mention, if you want this to look in, like a lot neater, you could do this pretty much all underground or cover it up too. Definitely, because you know a base has to have its internal wiring secret. So, uh, it would be pretty simple to make uh, the uh, wiring up. Uh, if you want me to do a full-blown tutorial on how to make it, then just you know comment. Uh, like and favorite, subscribe to me and the Neon Ninja, and you know, that is pretty much all you have to do. Any Anything else? No, I think we're good. Okay, alright then, if you liked the video, feel free to leave a like, uh, subscribe for more content, and I guess I will see you next time. Next